What's up, my brother? Welcome back to another Brood War Ladder cast. We've got Snow here in the top left-hand corner versus Xiao Shuai in the bottom right. This is a repeat of a game that we saw previously in one of our ladder battle videos. It was Xiao Shuai versus Snow on actually this exact same map. We're here on Dark Origin, except for I remember Snow was down here in the bottom right. And Xiao Shuai was up here in the top left. And the game went pretty long was a really fun game. Uh, in the end, Snow went DT, mass DT, to polish off Xiao Shuai. I just remember this epic fight over the third base where Xiao Shuai just refused to build a spore colony and ended up losing all of his hatcheries. It was a kind of a just a crazy, crazy game. And Xiao Shuai, if you guys don't know him, Xiao Shuai little handsome in Korean or sorry in Chinese he is a Chinese player not a Korean player um and he's one of those guys we got to keep an eye out for from the foreigner scene he's like just right on the edge of being good enough to play in an ASL really really close to it um but of course that last like 10 percent you can get 90 percent of the way there but that last 10 percent that is the toughest 10% you'll ever uh, try to acquire in your life when it comes to gaming skill and Xiao Shuai he's working his way up there and you know playing games against uh, someone of Snow's caliber is a good way to get there right you need to have good games against someone like this someone who's really at the top level in order to push you to get even better so Xiao Shuai doing a good job of dodging this probe. The probe being so annoying, you're chasing and chasing and chasing. He even built a assimilator to prevent the drone from regaining its health. And it does finally go down, although that was not easy by any stretch of the imagination. He really had to chase that a lot um, in order to pick off Xiao Shuai's drone. So considering it's snow we're talking about here, the fact that he even gave him that much of a... A run around here and was able to dodge the probe for that long uh, it's a testament to Xiao Shuai's play I think he's uh pretty darn good with that drone control in the early game not good enough to live but the uh the probe micro from snow is otherworldly in the early game so I don't really blame him for that he does get his third base out though and of course snow had to build an assimilator and cancel it so he he gave up something a little bit as well We've gone for a gateway first here out of snow and he's got his first three uh, zealots out but we don't have any more lings in production just blocking the ramp to make sure that the probe doesn't get in and scout anything and it's kind of looking like we're gonna see a hydralis den should be a hydralis den coming up here he starts speed is he gonna ling all in that is a that is a possibility here you know that's Snow likes to get really greedy with the timing on these cannons. Sometimes he puts the cybernetic score in the front of the wall. Uh, sometimes he just gets super duper greedy and even gets his Stargate before he goes for a cannon. Let's see if he does that this time. He's got the probe in position to actually throw that down here. He gets the cyber core. So a little bit of greed. Is he going to go all the way though? He starts ground weapons. At 423, that is a super early ground weapon. Um, that's, to me, signifying when I see a 4 minute 20 ground weapon, I just think, all right, you're going to zell it all in me, aren't you? I, I imagine four um, gateways in the main and a citadel right away to get that speed. Speed finishes. All right, speed finishes. Hydroden is coming along here. The uh, Zealot, early, like the early attack weapon upgrade and uh, really fast Zealot speed is excellent against a Hydralis bust. You really get a lot of Zealots out very, very quickly. Uh, and with that speed, they can start to run down the Hydras. So let's see if he goes for that here. He's trying to hide, obfuscate what he's doing. I think that um, it's not going to fool Xiao Shuai here. He sees that Citadel. And what's his response going to be? Is he actually going to build a huge amount of Hydras? Or is he just going to drone up a little bit further um, and try to defend well this Zealot timing attack that's going to come out of Snow? Because it's going to slow down some of the other things, right? He's not going to have air. 
He's definitely not going to have a Corsair coming out. His Templar might be a little bit slow. It depends on where he dumps his money next. But uh, if you're thinking about it from Snow's point of view, this is a really smart play. You saw... Uh, you, you weren't able to see the lair, but he can sort of figure that out. He saw the timing of the Ling speed and uh, is imagining that we're not going for a lair here. If it was a lair behind this and he read this wrong, he would have been in a lot of trouble because he's only got one Dragoon and no cannons in the mineral lines. So that would have been a little bit rough. We're already at six minutes. He could have had Mutas on the field at about this time. So that would have been a struggle here for Snow. But as it stands... He's got his plus one, and it's almost done. His plus one is almost done. He doesn't have any more gateways yet, though. We're adding on one more here. Going after that that plus one. Oh my god. Is Shao Shui going to get this plus one? That would be really painful. Well, it's coming out with the Zealots, so he will force everything back. He should be able to delay for long enough. Losing these Zealots sucks, but you really need to get this plus one done. You have to let that finish. Come on. Dive on it, Shao Shui. There's only so much time left. It looks like it is going to finish plus one or plus uh, range here. Not going to be done in time. So you won't be able to gun that down. And plus one does indeed finish. So Zealots are going to be that much stronger. Back behind this, seven more Hydras on the way. Adding on a fourth hatchery as well. He's trying to get into position to kill the forge. But at this point, it's not too much of a prize. You definitely don't want to give away any Hydras for this. Killing the gateway is actually better at this point. Because you know he has to remake that. He has to remake it and it's going to slow down his production just a little bit of Zealots. So that's pretty good. More and more Hydras are coming. We've got Storm on the way. That's a very quick Storm uh, to follow this up. Because he didn't go for the uh, Corsair play, he will be able to get really fast Storm. I'm talking like 8 minute, 8 minute 20 Storm, something like that. He's already got the energy. The storm upgrade's about to finish. You usually expect this around nine minutes in a normal game. So that's a really quick storm. And even more Hydras are being produced. I think Shao Shui isn't realizing that the storm is this fast. Thinking that it's he, he's going to have a timing window here of like 30 seconds, 8 minute 30 to dive in. Uh, you know, before that nine minute mark to try and get some kills on these uh, cannons and maybe bust in here. But that's just not the case. As soon as he pulls the trigger here, he is going to get stormed in the face. You can see the Templar are both ready and waiting. Eager here and almost has enough energy. Yeah, he's going to dive forward. There's the storm right at the back of the Hydra pack. Brutal damage there and two more Templar arrive as well. Dude, that sucks. That really sucks for Shao Shui. Now he's going to switch it into drones, but this is a really bad spot for him. He put a lot into this bus. Luckily, he does have an extra hatchery. You know, he made enough drones so that this wasn't completely all in. He was able to get that hatchery out. So now he can add on a fifth hatch, possibly even a sixth hatch and get the drones going. But it's still not a great spot. It's just you're not feeling good at this point here as the Zerg player. So Spire is going to start up. You do want to get that Spire eventually. Most games, you're going to end up uh, seeing the, the Zerg player get that, even if they did uh, go for a Hydra Bust early on. Overlord here, spotting the Zealots moving out. We'll be able to react to that. Zealots just kind of obfuscating on the map. They might turn around and go back home now. As more and more drones get added on, we're going to get up to like that 40 drone count, 45 drone count, where 6 Hatch Hydra is a real threat, but... Some Zealots have managed to sneak their way around the right-hand side here. Unbeknownst to Shao Shui. They're going to get in here and get a few kills right now. Already two drone kills. Some pretty decent damage. Good drone drill here by Shao Shui. But unfortunately, the Hydras are going to get forced forward. More Hydras going to pop out. And as the reinforcements arrive, this will get cleaned up. Six Hatch Hydra is coming out here. But... The real problem with any sort of Hydralis bust in the early game is your upgrades are just so far behind. You're missing out on a lot of those. The lair is late. 
The upgrades are late. Things are just delayed by quite a lot. And because the upgrade at the front finished here for Snow, that means his next upgrades are going to be that much further ahead, right? So he's going to start plus two armor already, and we're not even done plus one attack here as a Zerg player. So he's going to be two upgrades ahead. At least until this plus one finishes, and then he'll be two upgrades ahead once this plus one or uh, two armor finishes once again. So not a great situation. Gonna try to even the odds here though, Shao Shui putting out a bunch of mutas, but I just heard a Dark Archon morphing. And there it is, right there. He is ready, man. Although he doesn't have the energy, so maybe we can get in and get some kills right now. Shao Shui gonna go for it. Diving in, killing some probes. One, two probes go down. He sees the uh, Dark Archon. Will he kill it? He's going after it. He's putting enough damage on it. He will get it. There we go. Killing off that is a big, big moment here for Shao Shui. Now he knows that there's a lack of Maelstrom. And there will be for quite some time. Even if you make a Dark Archon right now, here as Snow, it takes time for the energy to accumulate more kills on these probes and forcing out some additional storms it's pretty decent for just the six muta killing a dark archon killing off a few probes forcing some storms all good stuff all things that are going to help you out uh, with the later hydralisk flood uh, play that's going to come out here for shao Shui. he's not going to have too many Lurkers, just four are going to be morphing here. He does have the third gas, so he will st slowly start to accumulate those. He didn't spend too much money into Muta, so he can definitely afford to make a few at least. And he has the opportunity right now to get over here and fill this area with Lurkers and then try to control this spot. Uh, that is the key to victory here on Dark Origin when the, the, the game starts to go a little bit later. You need to hold this bridge area. And as long as you have this, and you can have this, forcing the Protoss to stay turtled on three base is a winning situation for the Zerg. So he's going to go ahead, spread these out. He has plus one finish now. Hasn't started plus two just yet. Really need to get on that. 11 overlords in production. Looks like we got supply blocked here. That's a little bit sad for Xiao Shui, and he needs to get overlord speed oh man you know he didn't get overlord speed i remember in the last time we casted him as well that is so sad for Xiao Shui. he's gonna start his hive his hive will be done here soon then he can start overlord speed but you can just you can just break this so easily you make two dark templar and you just come across the bridge with the observer and you kill everything because there's no overlords here um, looks like Overlord slowly, slowly making its way forward now. But this big group needs to head back home. You don't want to have like eight Overlords here at the front. Because if you lose that position, you lose all those Overlords, you're going to be in a hell of a lot of trouble. He's going to set up here on the left-hand side. A big containment for Snow to try and punch through. Snow insanely good at skirmishing with these types of armies. We'll see what Shao Shui can do here. Opening up the left-hand side of the map. That leaves, you know, four. Oh, where we, uh, I think we went in with the Mutas there for a second, or maybe they got baited in. That opens up four bases for the Protoss player, right? Four bases and the back of the main base is going to be open to him. So he can break down that uh, little stasis uh, field or containment unit, whatever it's called. And start to break through into the main, which is pretty scary for the Zerg. He's going to go ahead and take the top right-hand corner base and start this skirmishing. Storms come out. Pretty decent storms, getting a lot of these lurkers and slowly finishing them off with the dragoons. Ling's kind of running in haphazardly, getting eaten up by the storms. Second layer of defense is ready, though, for Shao Shui. He is not going to let go of this position easily. It's going to take a lot of skirmishing here for Snow to get through this. And meanwhile, the bases are getting set up everywhere. Extra hatches are going down. We're continuing to pump away these upgrades, getting into Ling upgrades as well. And there's the Defiler. So skipping over the Overlord speed, and he's still not getting it. I'm actually starting to get really scared now for Shao Shui that he doesn't have Overlord speed still. Could we see a repeat of that game uh, we saw previously with 
uh, snow following up like mass mass uh, DT because it works really good if you don't have overload speed let me tell you that and Ling's getting in here dealing some good damage they're right on top of everything so of course they're dealing tons and tons of damage to these dragoons Ooh, a feedback there on one of those uh, defilers of course there's another one coming up here plague is almost done do we actually get Ling attack speed because it doesn't feel like we have it. Okay, we do have it. Never mind. Now it looks like we do. For sure. Those lings are attacking super duper fast. Dropping back a little bit by little bit. Pulling back the dragons here. Casting the storms when necessary. He's going after the Dark Archon. Can he get it? Another feedback, but it wasn't enough to kill. The Filer here didn't have enough energy to make that feedback effective. Still right-clicked on this Dark Archon. Looks like he's just going to lose every single ling here. Trying to take that down. 4 HP. You've got to be kidding me. That is so frustrating here for Xiao Shuai. And he's sitting at 141 to a totally maxed out Protoss. He needs to start getting plagues down right away. We cannot delay any further with this with this plague. Finally, it does finish. He's got to come forward here and get some plagues down. Uh, so critical that he starts to chain those plagues. Putting a Lurker at the bottom here is pretty good, but... Um, with the pi with the cannon in a good spot here, it's not going to do too much. Two HP left on that lurker, starting to push out here. Snow can't really push through the the dark storm right now, I don't think. But he's gonna send out some zealots to try and deal that damage and push through these lurkers. There's the first big plague of the game. Really nice plague there for Shao Shui. He's lowering a lot of these units HP and softening them up for future attacks picking off a lot of these lurkers here and now shall i gonna try to move forward another storm comes down a lot of wasted storms though a lot of storms thrown out for not a huge amount of value just you know two storms uh killing each individual uh lurker is not that great he's gonna shove forward here throwing down some lurkers underneath this dark swarm but with zealots coming forward storms and archons should be able to clear this out more lurkers gonna come up here is he getting a little bit too hasty right now i think that running forward right now with these lurkers is a bit too crazy here Zhao shui does manage to force back snow but a small gain for quite a few losses here still no overlord speed it is unbelievable unbelievable to me right now that Zhao shui is not getting that it just doesn't make sense we have so much money um, it's such an important upgrade. All of this, all of this gain in, you know, position, we're trying to push forward here, can, can, can be completely undone by just a couple of DTs come down here. They start killing lurkers and the overlord's too slow. You have to back up. That's it. Uh, yeah, really stri it's striking to me here. The, the odd decision to not go for overlord speed. More lurkers pushing forward. It's slow but steady here. Another great uh, feedback, getting rid of one of these high energy defilers. And now there's no Dark Swarm for this spot. It's going to be a great opportunity here for Snow to push forward once again. Uh, really did need the defiler spells there in that moment and just doesn't have them anymore. So he's going to have to pop a couple more defilers here, get them to the front line. Uh, hopefully he will have a backup. There's one there. Um, that could be used as a backup. He's trying to snipe o uh, observers. Oh, he gets one with a, a slow overmind or a slow overlord. It's kind of crazy. Good storm there. Stopping the scourge from getting on top of that observer. Maybe he can get it now. Yeah, he will. He does pick that off. More lurkers coming out. A lot of lings here as well. Not a whole lot of harassment this game, honestly. Unless I missed something. I don't think I did, though. It's just all about this skirmish right here. And Shao Shui trying to slowly make his way in while, uh, you know, Snow just holds him back. Holding him back over and over and over again. And here, Finally, we're going to get metasynaptic, metasynaptic node so that the uh, Defilers can throw down two spells uh, with their 250 energy. You can get uh, both Plague and... Dark Swarm. It's a very big power spike. It's a little bit of a late upgrade here, but it's fine. 
He will have it coming online here pretty soon. He's also getting very close to 3-3 three, three, uh, for his Hydras. 3-2 here for the Lings, which is a pretty big power spike. And as long as he keeps plaguing, we need plagues. We need plagues. There we go. Plague on the uh, Templar here. Not the best. We don't really need plagues on the Templar. We need them on the Dragoons and the... Oh, but a great kill there. Oh! There's the Maelstrom being used, getting rid of those lings by holding them down while the storm does its job. Very nicely done here. Gotta consume. It's very hard to consume with the lings just kind of running in right now. Does need to get on top of that, though. Oh, 28 kill Archon. Hanging out here in the back and just doing absolute work. Still just just hanging in there, man. 22 kills, 31 kills here on this Archon. Absolutely ridiculous. Starting to be pushed back a little bit now. Snow finally transferring probes down to the bottom left. We're going to go long, guys. This game doesn't show any signs of ending anytime soon. Gravitic Drive is coming up, and we're probably going to be switching into some... Reavers here very very soon. I can't believe we don't have speed. What are you doing? 22 minutes in there's no speed This is bonkers Absolutely bonkers plague on this high ground Does lose the lurker unfortunately, but does have plenty of replacements are available Go for another plague here Trying to get those uh Plagues uh Chaining here. Chain plagues, as Shun always says. Defiler here. No energy on that. We're slowing right down at the moment. I mean, Snow is just trading so insanely well. Every single time the army comes forward, he's just storming the hell out of it. And we do have Reavers on the way now. We're going up to 3-3 finally. Uh, even getting that armor, despite... You know, being plagued all the time. It could still be useful here. Great Maelstrom. Just gonna stop these lurkers in their tracks and throws down storms. And dude, this is so much value. The value here is insane. Another uh, feedback there. Dark Archon. He tries to jump on top of it. He's so sick of that Dark Archon, man. <laughs> that Dark Archon has got an insane value this game. He's got three kills, all of them defilers. Really, really painful losses every single time for Shao Shui. And, I mean, he's got to keep getting plagues here. He's got to push through. There's no real other option. You you have to break this. I'm so shocked he ha doesn't have anything up in the top right. No defenses up there. Nothing over here either. Just everything in the center of the map. And I guess that it's fine as long as, uh, you know... Sh Snow keeps playing this game as long as he plays this push game and never attempts to go up there Then that's fine. It seems like snow is actually waiting for mine out He's just going to Play keep away here from Shao Shui never allow him to get down to the bottom left uh, And shut down that base or take it for himself. So uh, it, that's what Xiao Shui needs to do. He has to get down there. He has to break that base. It's incumbent upon him now to make the moves. Snow just doesn't have to do anything, really, except for keep getting great trades. You can see that things are starting to mine out here for Xiao Shui. Um, oh, we're going to have a push out. Lurkers are not burrowed. Xiao Shui not really paying attention here in the middle of the map. Um, I don't know where his attention could be if not here as uh, snow is gonna break through everything if He's not careful go for the plague. We need a really big plague right now Dark storm would be helpful as well, but there's the plague finally going down a wide arc of army is pushing its way forward here snow has the Big count of archons that you want in the late game another big plague Great job here by Xiao Shui getting some value out of these defilers, a dark swarm there is going to slow down the archons breaking through the lurkers here. And quite a few of these archons could go down. They're very, very low right now. But a lot of them are low. 
34 kills. Four kills. 15, 18, 2, 19. Well, we lost, I think, one of the Archons with the higher number of kills, but here he comes. He's trying to push out into the middle. That's a lot of Zerg. Uh-oh. Did Snow make a big mistake here? Trying to get aggressive. It seemed like he didn't really have to do this, but he decided to, to come out and fight and play. And uh, Xiao Shuai is going to be happy to take a big arcing fight here with a lot of Lings, a lot of Hydras. The Storms are still available, but they are running thin right now. And the Dragoons are going to get completely surrounded and killed. Xiao Shuai making, uh, you know, some ground up now, finally. It's been a long time coming here. He's been constantly pushing over and over again and not making any ground. But as I say that, the Archons clear everything. Dude, these things are so beefy. With that three plasma shields, 39 damage per hit plus splash. It's wild how much they can do. Oh, a great maelstrom there. Will he get the storm on it as well? Oh my god. It's so brutal. Great plague though. Really great plague. Making the best out of a very bad situation there. Chao Shui has more rallies coming up. He's got 3,000 minerals in the bank. Mackering off of this many hatcheries, though, is a serious chore. It takes so much effort in APM to just macro off of all of this. Uh, oh, Guardians here. A quick switch from Shao Shui. He's going to try something crazy. The uh, storms are going to be menacing right now. They're going to do so much damage. Throwing down storms on all of this. Just wrecking the Guardians right now. They are so bad uh, in this matchup. Unless you can get them in the perfect position. Or you can like bum rush the, the Protoss and just snipe the Templar. I personally really like the combination of Guardian and Queen. Because you can come forward with the Queens and snipe Templar. Uh, with the Broodling. And then the Guardians don't have anything that can shoot up. No, they don't have any storms to deal with. But... In this case, just going to be storm after storm after storm. He needs to target the Templar. Please target the Templar. Nice dodge there. Getting out of that storm pretty quickly. This one is going to be uh, taken to the face. But storms are running thin now. We don't have a whole lot of them left. We've got one storm there. Okay, we've got some more coming up. Two more storms. Three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I said there weren't many storms, but look at all these storms. Look at all the Templar coming out here. It's just mass Templar now here from Snow. Last time we saw these two match up, it was mass Dark Templar. This time, a High Templar army moving in between these two bases, laying down the storms on any and all who decide to advance. And it looks like Shao Shui going to come and try to, try to break these bridges here. A big plague on this army. Could be disastrous for uh, Snow, but you know what? He didn't consume before coming across the bridge, so it ends up not really working out well for him. He kills the third, though. The third will go down, and he gets on top of the rally point. This is starting to get a bit hectic here for Snow. He doesn't really care about this base too much. That thousand gas is pretty nice. He probably wants that, but the mineral patches are pretty much dead, and he's got 4k in the bank. So I'm sure he's not going to be too upset about that. As long as he holds the bottom left, I think he should be fine with the current game state. It's not like he has to quickly do something about this. He can just slowly and surely take his time, trade efficiently, and eventually overwhelm Xiao Shui here, who is starting to run out of minerals. You can see these patches are getting low. We've only got 2,000 minerals in the bank. I know, only 2,000 uh, sounding pretty poor at this point I, but um, that's where we're at here with 3,000 in the miner minerals in the bank for snow it is completely incumbent upon Xiao Shui to do something and he's going to try and go for it now oh another great maelstrom here do we have a storm for that oh he picks up the dark archon oh my god this dark archon has lived the entire game well, the first Dark Archon did die, so I guess not the entire game. This is the second one. This is the, the predecessor, Mark II here. The upgrade from the first one. And is doing much, much better 
than the Mark I. Sending in the drones now. This is when things start to get really desperate. At least he's baiting some storms out. Which is, uh, you know, it's something, I guess. Good plague there. But these, uh, oh, this reaver's not been plagued, but that one has. Going up to the top right. Um, snow coming out on the map a little bit late. <laughs> it's not like, uh, this base is really worth anything anymore. But he's gonna go up there and kill that. He's still got a big army, 177 supply. We do really need to target. We need to target the Reavers with the, the Guardians. Uh, and stop taking shots from the cannons as well. Well, I think that we're just about out of gas here uh, on the side of Shao Shui. You can see how much money is still left for Snow. That's just the power of Protoss late game trading, man. They are so damn good at trading uh, that they both mined the same amount. Actually, Snow's mined significantly less. You can see he's not even close to mining out just yet. Um, and he's still got 4,000 minerals in the bank. How crazy is that, guys? Still 4,000. Shao Shui is going to try one more time to break up here. His last group of Hydralis cannot break this Reaver. He can't even fight uh, this army over here, I don't think, with what he's got left. So he's going to go ahead and throw this last army in. See what he can do with it. But he will be tapping out here shortly. Reavers are going to go down a little bit here. A couple of them anyway. No, just one. And the juggling is good here from Snow. GG is called and Shao Shui taps out. Man, this is a very hard map for Zerg. When it comes to split map situations. So, so tough. To prevent the Protoss player from taking the entire side of the map. The left or the right, depending on where they spawn. And just making it impossible. This is such a... This is... I mean, it's not a small choke, but this is a relatively mid-sized choke that can be filled with storms. Like, one, two storms? You can probably fill the majority of this choke. The bridges here, very stormable as well. I mean, Shao Shui did a lot of things right in this game, but trading just a little bit too far at a deficit every single time and allowing snow to get this base over here at the bottom left dude the dark archon play this game was really something else snow pulling that out for us and showing us how strong it can be in the late game these reavers have an insane amount of kills too 26 kills on that reaver that is wild snow Taking it long here. Shao Shui putting up a pretty decent fight. But in the end, the power of Protoss, man. Backing himself into a corner. Making it impossible. Just nothing but thorns sticking out. And Shao Shui has to run into them over and over again. In order to get to the other side. To get to a win. He's not able to do it today. But we'll be watching for him. For more matches against Korean pro players in the future, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I... Hope you have the beautiful rest of your day. Bye-bye.